Good afternoon. This is Miss Scott. Today we are going to be looking at creating a blogger.com uh, account in order to create our new blog page. Um, in, in Activity 7.1.1, we were asked to create a blog post for our blog page. And now here in Activity 7.2.1, we are being asked to actually create the blog page and paste in our blog post. So the first thing you need to do, if you do not already have a Google account, you will need to create a Google account in order to be able to use Blogger. Um, so I have skipped that step because I do have a Google account. Um, but if you don't have a Google account, you can simply go to google.com and create a Google account. From there, you're going to go here to this blogger.com website. And I need to sign in in order to create my blog. So I'm going to click on sign in. And I'm going to go to my Graduation Alliance Google account. Sign in here. Um, and then it's just asking for a display name that I want to display. So I'll just put my name, Shanita Scott. And continue to blogger. All right, and then we get here. So once we're here, we're going to go down and create. Uh, click on this button that says create new blog to start our blog. So I'm going to click there. From there, it asks me for a title, an actual web address for my blog, and then a theme. So for my title, I'm going to call it Sophie Naturals. That is the name of my business. So um, that's what I'm going to call it. For the address, I'm going to try to also use Sophie Naturals. Um, so the only stipulation with the address is that we can't have any spaces. So if you do want some type of space between your words, you should use a, either a dash or an underscore because it won't allow any actual spaces. Um, and then it needs to be um, unique. So if you put in a name that someone has already used, it will let you know, it won't let you input that name. Um, but if you notice when I typed in Soapy Naturals, it automatically adds this extension blogspot.com. So we don't have to worry about trying to add any extensions. Um, the website will do that automatically for us. So I'm gonna call mine Soapy Naturals. And then I just, oh, if you see, it says this blog address is available, so that means no one else has used this name, so I'm good with that. And then I just need to pick a theme. And we've got a few, not a whole lot, but a few themes that we can um, pick from. So I think I'm going to use, no, I'm gonna use Notable. So I'm gonna click there, and then once I figure out my theme, I'm gonna click create blog, and it starts creating for me. Uh, so it's asking me here if I want to find a domain name for my blog, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna say no thanks to that. We're not gonna worry about any of that right now. Okay, so then it takes me here. So now I'm ready to create my first post in my blog. So I'm gonna click on this orange button that says new post. and it takes me here. So then I need to give my post a title. Since this is my first post, I'm gonna title it Welcome to Sophie Naturals. And then I just need to copy and paste my blog post. So I already have my blog post that I created from uh, Activity 7.1.1 up here. So I'm gonna highlight it and then I'm gonna right click Click on copy. I'm gonna go back to my web page and I'm gonna right click and click on paste to paste that in. So from this point, I can add any type of pictures or formatting or anything like that that I want to add to make it look pretty. So let's see, let me go to insert image and see what options might I have. No photos there, Google. Ooh, I got this picture here that just popped up, which is funny. Um, let's see if it'll let me use it. Okay, so let me go back here. 
Uh, so I have this picture here. I want to use it. So what I did is I clicked on it. As you can see, it highlighted. And now I can click on Add Selected. So I can add this picture in here. Um, and put that in there just to give a little something to my page. Um, please feel free to add whatever you want to add to your page. You, this is your page. You can set it up however you want. But you do want to spend some time just, you know, adding something to it, making it your own, making it look nice um, as you see fit. Once you have done all of the formatting that you want to do, um, you can actually, let's see, I'm going to save this first to make sure I save my work. There's a preview button here. So if you click on preview, you'll actually be able to preview what your website will look like before, or excuse me, what your blog will look like before you post it. So you can make sure it looks the way you want. So here's what mine will look like. Not bad. It's pretty cute. Um, obviously a lot more I can add to it, but for the sake of a demonstration uh, this is a good start so that's my preview I'm gonna close that up once I preview my document I've saved it I know this is what I want it's looking the way I want your next step is going to be to publish it so if I click this orange button that says publish it is going to publish my post so if I go here to view blog there's my blog with my first uh, a preview of my first post. So it doesn't show the way this is set up. It doesn't show the full post here. It kind of gives you a little preview, and they can click read more to get the entire thing. So the last step for this assignment that you want to make sure you do is to copy and paste the URL for your blog into the assignment page on Buzz. So this is my URL up here. This HTTPS. Uh, slash slash sophienaturals.blogspot.com so you want to make sure that you just copy and then paste that into the assignment for 7.2.1 so that is how you create your blogger page and put in your first blog post hopefully that helped uh, but as always if there are any other questions please please feel free to contact me at any time Hope this was helpful and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.